at least 32 cats were murdered in Croydon in the last two years. Last week, Peter set a £2,000 reward for information on the so-called Croydon cat killer. Wayne Bryant's cat, Amber, was found decapitated in October. DNA tests are still being carried out. I don't want to accept her back because of the Christmas period and we have small children and I don't want to explain it to them. My grandchildren are only four and five and they don't need to know what happened to her. They just need to know that she's off in the woods playing with the squirrels and that's what they believe. I know it sounds silly but she used to come and nudge me in the head every morning, um, meow, wake me up. So, And then in the evening she'd sit on my shoulder like a parrot. Something's missing but... I just have to live with it. The whole of the estate we searched because we didn't know how far she would have wandered. I decided to go and do one quick search of the woodland opposite. That's when we found her. To be honest, I would have much preferred that she'd been hit by a car because it's easier to deal with. While some blame foxes, others are adamant the sophisticated mutilations point to something more sinister. South Norwood Animal Rescue and Liberty are working to find the killer. I was very pleased to see that um, Peter had made an award of uh, £2,000. Um, hopefully that will uh, encourage people to come to us with the information. To begin with, we were quite upset with the council. In their policy, they're supposed to collect dead cats and chip check them. They're not doing it. They are literally just putting them in the bin. Um, we've had cases, we, we, we recovered a dead cat recently. The council had said, just put it in the bin. Amber was the first body that we were able to collect to have post-mortem carried out because the police obviously weren't interested in that side of it um, and neither were the, the RSPCA. Um, so inadvertently we've become the sort of main lead investigators on this and sadly having to deal with the trauma of people losing their cats. My advice would be make sure you get your cat chipped and if it does go missing, um, there's a chance whether it's found alive or dead that you'd be reunited with it. If you do have to let your cats out, then um, under supervision, Amber, for example, only wandered you know, a few metres away from the door. This guy could strike anywhere. Authorities are urging anyone with information to come forward.